All right, guys. Welcome to my second day here in Mumbai. Having seen the south of Mumbai, the affluent south part yesterday, beginning at the Gateway of India and finishing up on Chowpati Beach with that wonderful Kulfi ice cream, there's another important side of the city to see. And today, I'm here in what is Asia's biggest slum. And that's the only time you'll hear me use that word, as I know it's a little insensitive, but unfortunately that's what it's known as. So I'll refer to it as hood from here, or community, I guess. So taking a walk down here now, we're working our way towards what I believe is the center, certainly in terms of the noise of the area. Namaskar, hello, kiss it home, acha. Wow, look at that, but already the people are super friendly, even if, whoa, there's a usual traffic situation going on and all the horns. Okay, the hand will, uh, the hand will protect me. Just look at this. Got huge lorries coming through these tiny streets. In addition to all of the bikes. It seems a little crazy, but the people here so far have been really kind. Namaskar, Baza. Kiss it home. A chat. Good, good, good. Okay. So, let's make our way down. I've got to be careful while I'm walking. So, of course, there's uh, lots of trains and things, but you can see lots of nice businesses cooking chapatis and things. I think a lot of the signs are actually uh, Muslim. It suggests that there's a big Islamic community around here. So I need to, uh, like this gentleman here. Salam, sir. Salam alaikum. There we go. I need to make sure that I get my shukriyas the right way around, as opposed to my general danivad. So I can use it here. So you've got the usual things that we would see. Mobile phone repair shops, motorbikes, all the rest. So this is like thriving industry. And in fact, 30% of Mumbai's pollution is recycled. Or 30% of the waste is recycled, I should say. And it's Daravi where a lot of it is processed. So the economy apparently generates as much as $1 billion per year. And there are over a million people who live here, give or take. So by no means, tell us that. By no means. Is this some um, apocalyptic place? This is this is bag. Ah, nice bags. Ah, so one hundred rupees. One hundred rupees. I don't need one right now, brother. So I'm just in the middle of a vault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I needed a bag, you have a nice smile. Oh, I would okay. certainly buy from you. Okay. Peace with you. Okay. So, just on that note, textiles are also the other thing. Just as it's a case throughout India that uh, you see a lot of. So textiles and recycling. I really big here. Wow. Nice sweet center and things. I might have to come back and get something from there. But I'm on the lookout for a shave. As much as I was trying to grow out the beard and fit in with the uh, the locals, I think I could do with a trim. Hello sir, Namaskar. Kese ho? What the cha? Very good. What are you selling? Tea? Chai? What are you selling? Ah. Pudka? What is Pudka? <laughs> I do not know Pukka. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, ah! I see a salon here. Hello, sir. Wow. So, within minutes of stepping off from the train at the end of the road, where I came in, and stepping off the main street there, where there were lots of nice sweet centers and friendly people, you can see things look very different around here. We've got all the goats, the kids. It looks like chicken cages and stuff around here. Hello, sir. And what appears to be a massive apartment block. I was going to say tenement. Maybe it is. Ah, but there's a little boy playing with his kite. Namaskar. You're good at kites. What the chai, you're very good. You show me. You show me kite. You show me kite. Do kite. You show me? No? Okay, okay, no problem. Maybe he got a little embarrassed. Or he's seen my video in Jaipur where I did the kite flying on the roof with the guys. Anyways, let's take a little look around here. Salam sir. Let's take a little look around here. Get a feel for this. Hello sir, Namaskar. Alright. It's uh 
it's kind of quieter. I follow you? Okay. One of the guys has just invited me over. So, uh, let's meet him. Namaskar, bhai sahab. Aapka naam kya hai? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Assalamu alaikum. My name is James. Med England. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is your shop? Okay, let's see. Aapka naam kya hai? Kushan. Kushan, nice to meet you. All right, let's take a little look in here. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Nice to meet you. Hey, guys. This is your shop? Yes, yes. Ah, you're selling uh, chai? This is Zudefa. Chai. Do you want to drink chai? Uh, I think it might be a problem with my stomach. Yes, yes. Sting. Sting. Stimulates Sting. mind Sting. and energizes his body. No stimulants for me. I am I am pure. No stimulants, no alcohol. Shake hands, shake hands, shake hands to this. Brother. How are you doing? How are you doing? Come to come to your home. Your home. Your home. All right. Lads, I'm gonna take a walk more, but nice to meet you. Yes, yes. I'm gonna go. Thank you. All right. Let's take a little walk in. Yasin we bhai. met him. He's a good man. Yasin bhai. Yasin bhai. Bro. Yasin bhai. Nice to meet you. Okay. All right, guys. What's your name? Mirror Nam James. Nice to meet you. See you later. Okay. All right. Med England. All right, guys. Malikum Asalam. Peace be with you. All right. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you show me kite? Mumbai. Yeah, Mumbai. You show me kite? Flying kite? Flying kite. You do kite? Okay. I see you later. Danava. Bye bye. All right. Okay. That was a little bit confusing. I heard my, uh, my name a couple of times there. But as you can see, you can step off the road and onto a side street that you might be a little bit apprehensive about. Yeah, nothing bad happened there. The guys weren't trying to trick me at all. Just wanted to sell me a drink, which is fair enough, and welcoming me in. So, the chair appears to be full at the moment as it just uh, dodged his car. So let's continue our little walk through, and the next barber that I see that has a space. Med England. I'm Kanan Noah. Noah. Yeah, so you like Noah's art. I like it. I like it. All right, guys. See you soon. Okay. Let's continue our uh, our walk through here. We'll try and get past this, uh, this massive lorry in a moment. The street looks a little bit quieter down here. Although, just check that out. The pollution in that river is absolutely incredible. I must make a move before I get crushed, though. Let's continue through here. Get a bit of space. Namaskar. Hello, Baita. All right. Whoa, man. The smell hits you. Not only is it accumulating here, but you can see that the majority of it is in the river. So it's uh, accumulating in the water. But there's an important point to be made here. As much as it is, it's not that it looks, it is filthy. It's not that the people are dirty. It's no reflection on the Indian people. The reality is that you just don't see bins and they don't have the infrastructure to possibly maintain the volume of rubbish or trash that's produced here. And in fact, so a lot of it is just thrown in the river or whatever, but in fact, the reality is that the majority of recycling in the city, as I mentioned earlier, is actually done here. So let's take a walk down the street now. You can see a lot of these bags. This is plastic. Namaskar, sir. This is plastic. Recycling. Okay, I'm going to take a little walk down my own. Got a man and his goat. What do we have in here? So yeah, you can see all of the plastic from yogurt pots to helmets being collected here and it's collected for recycling. So as much as yesterday, hello sir, Namaskar. As much as yesterday, I mentioned some of the challenges, Namaskar sir, some of the challenges that Mumbai faced and India faces, like many other parts of Asia, in terms of pollution, this particular part 
of Mumbai is playing a key role in trying to improve it. Now obviously there's places as well collecting scrap, whether it be rubber in this case and lots of things, other forms of plastic perhaps, maybe metals. You can see down here, this is probably all to be sorted through. All of the uh, wheels that are probably on the foot of expensive office chairs around the world, not only here in India, for executives to sit in and park their asses. This is where it ends up. So there's a big community here and big business being done. It is by no means, upon first impressions, what it might appear to be at first. Okay. We can see it beginning to change a little bit around here. We've got the guys selling washing powder, soaps and things. I could actually do with getting some shampoo. Aha! Oh, there's a man here who could maybe do a shave. I think he's asleep. Namaskar, bhai sahab. Namaskar. Namaskar. Is it possible for a shave? Can I get a shave? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. I woke him up. I've got him here. Irfan. Irfan. Middle name James. Met yeah. England. England. I've got him here. Arman. Arman. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Boom. We do fists. Yeah. We do fists. Yeah. Boom. We do the uh, potato one. Yeah. Sir, can you do shave? Huh? Acha. Okay, G. Let's go. Let's do it. Chalo, chalo. Let's do it. Chalo, shave karin ka paswas. All right. So I've come into this barber shop just around the corner randomly uh, from where I was walking all of a sudden. Let's check it out. Oh look, yes. Gives himself a little spray to wake up. That's a good idea. That's, that's a good idea. Oh no, you dropped your rice. Oh no, okay. Maybe I could choose from one of these designs. I'll go for a clean shave, I don't want to confuse. Okay, ready? Okay, you, you are awake now. Okay, so let's take a seat in this back street barber shop. Oh wow, we've got lights. Let there be lights, he said. How can I get here? Amir. 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 Middle name James. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, All right. Nice to meet you. Okay, so I just have a clean shave. Clean shave. Razor, yeah? yeah. yeah. New, new razor. Now I will full shave my hair. Okay. This is a good shop. I like it. Yeah. So you can have a haircut for 60 rupees. You can have it styled for 80. And if you're a child, it's only 50. Yeah. So what I need is shaving. And is it uh, Gillette shaving? Gillette shaving. Gillette yeah. shaving. That sounds good. So clean, clean shave. It's cleaning my face first. I'm waiting for you from five Might have been cleaner yeah. before the uh, local water and yeah. hands. But anyways, yeah, now yeah. applying nice barb or cream. Yeah. Ah, it's the scrub. Just okay, scrub. so we're having an exfoliating scrub to begin with. And then we're going to get lathered up with the Gillette foam. The best a vlogger can get. Although if Manscapes are watching this at some point in the future, Gillette is not the best that man can get. New new razor, yeah? Oh, GG, okay. This is uh this is a new razor. Hey, hey, He's disinfecting hey, it. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, it's so gentle as you'd expect. You'd certainly hope. I think the last wet shave I had was in Riga. The, the wet shave is always a difficult one to vlog, so I've got to stay still. All right, guys, so we're getting the finishing touches done now. Just step by the nose. And then remind me, your name? My again? name is Arman. Arman, you're going yeah. to show me your father's Arman. shop, yes, your family yes. business. You finish it, I will show you. Oh, yeah, that's it. This is not what I expected when they said there are <laughs> And just look, this is the most relaxing experience. He's in Mumbai after that. After a bit more local water in my face. Oh, you are killing. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't had this before. So your hair is clean. Very good. Yeah. Wow. So it's actually effectively cleaned it. Yeah. 
speed the threading process. It's like two in one. Wow! I've never had that before. Yeah, that feels so good. Okay, brother, for you. Yeah. Danavad, thank you so much. Okay, so you're going to show me where you and your father, you and sure. your dad shop, yeah, yeah. where they work. Okay, so it's air conditioning. Ah, hello, sir. Wow. So we're. Uh, this is called a marble of a putta. Packing box, box. Ah, packing. so cardboard boxes. You can see some of the brand names here. Yes, yes, yes. Marlboro yes, cigarettes. I, can, I, can, I, can, I can say the Yeah, so packaging for Marlboro. big cigarette Marlboro. companies. I see. Yes, I yes. see. Yo. This so is this is perhaps where they source a lot of them. Namaskar by Zabs. Hello. Kese ho? Acha? Acha, acha. This and is I'm making a bag, bag, from traveling bag. Ah, you can okay. see this. So you see, of course, these in markets and shops, streets all around the world. Yes. But this it's is where they're made. Can I come, I come in? I oh, maybe I don't want to get my dirty shoes. I won't go inside. Yeah, you can see the guys cutting the fabrics yeah, there. I actually yeah. recognize yeah. the print, yeah. I think. No, no. No. Of that lining there. So I wonder where I've seen that before. Probably in John Lewis or somewhere in the UK. Danavad guys, this is gas. I see. This is the dye of making a color cloth, cloth color. Ah, okay. So where the dye textiles in here. This is making a cloth. Can I come to the door? Uh, yes, is that yes. okay? Go, go in. It's go okay. In. Come, red come. Stuff in there. This is the tabela. Ah. So it's fabric dye that I saw out there. Where next, boys? This is a press. Let's see where press. Kapra pressing. Cloth pressing. Pressing closer. Iron, Iron Man. Iron Man. Superman. Okay. I've woken the second sleeping man here in Daravi. I feel guilty. But these boys are uh, obviously giving me a little tour of the area now. I was quite happy to otherwise go around on my own, but you know, clearly they. Uh, they saw an opportunity to earn a little money and I think it's only fair that even if I chip from here uh, and do my own thing perhaps a little further that we can pay them Come from this, this is what? Side. okay my oh wow goat. my owner this is your goat? ah yes ah oh, very cool very good this, this is your brother? my brother nice Big to meet brother. you brother Mira Nam James Kese Ho Kese Ho Acha Aapka Naam Ke Hai Mustafa Mustafa nice to meet you this is called Pancho. This is your motorbike? Yes. Your motorbike? motorbike. Yeah? yeah this Yours? Is this, this. <laughs> All right. This is called Pan Shop. Pan Shop. Whoa. Mall what is that? Tameko. What is that? He's oh, making... Sorry. <laughs> okay. Some cement or something fell on me and then uh, the next thing when I turn around... Yeah. That's not cool. I think I literally had cement thrown on me. Come here. I will make you clean. What's this? It's okay? Yes, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Bad. It's okay. It's okay. Were they throwing? Were they throwing things? Ah. Oh, it was accident. Ah, look, no. He's it's, making they're, a... Yeah, they are building a wall. They are building a wall up there. It wasn't somebody throwing stuff at me. Come. <laughs> it was just. Uh, it was just normal. Okay. This is called a mirror. Mirror shop. Mirror shop. So they are printing things here? Come inside, come inside. So you can see guys all of the industry that I talked about. Not only is it the plastic recycling and textiles that we talked about. Namaskar by Zab. But also, hello. 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 You can see this machine. But also we've got some kind of uh, industrial, is it industrial press yeah. or something? For yeah. making glass? Uh, making glass or cutting, cutting from. Ah, so like a glass cutter, yeah, making yeah, panels yeah. and things for construction. How much cover is that? Uh, from England, near Manchester. It's very cold, it's very cold there. Yeah, very cold. You work out, brother, yeah, you're like, whoa. Like bodybuilder, you've got a strong jaw as well, like The Rock. <laughs> rock, Rock. Yeah. <laughs> like Dwayne Johnson of Mumbai. Yeah, yeah you do I'll give you, uh, let me give you the card. Alright guys, stepping back out into the streets of Daravi. Okay. Oh, it's nothing. I'm okay. Running for a bus. Come, <laughs> come. Again, like I've said, everywhere that I've been so far on my trip, people look after you. And they're taking interest in you. And in this case, once again, the old graze on the arm has been a talking point. Tea Everybody house. off camera as well was asking. Tea house. Oh, tea okay. House nahi, tea shop, tea tea house. House ka oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is where you're cooking up chai? Ah, chai. This is ah, chai. Ah, nice. 
So it's all uh, flavoured with like masala, yeah. with powder, with spice. And then I guess they drain it there. And you can see lots of people, lots of local people enjoying. I wish. <laughs> I would love to try some, but for the fact that the water would make me ill. So, that about guys. Bye bye. Making bun, bun. Buns in here? Yes. I can see. Ah uh, yes, you can go. Oh wow! You can smell, yeah, the lovely fresh smell of bread. It smells so good. It does. Yes. It's the best smell. Big, big photo. Perfect. Yes. Okay, Acha. Nice to meet you, brother. Danavad. All right, he seems really pleased with the outcome of having stopped to uh, take that photo. Anyways, let's get back out on the street. Okay, boys. We head down here now. We head down here. Yes. And then maybe I go exploring. Maybe I go exploring myself a little bit further. Yes. Yeah. Because this all looks. Uh, it all looks quite quiet, very normal. Yes. I want to see more of the inside if I can. Ah, oh, this is your dad's shop. I see. Oh, let's take a run over. Hello. I've been told to see your dad's shop. Nice. This is uh, water, water yeah. containers. AC. 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 I see. He's recycling with AC recycling. I see. So again, more recycling. In this case, air conditioning units. Really a lot of plastic, but also metal and electronics are going to them. So one way or another, the people here in Darabi, the businesses, are recycling all of these materials on behalf of Mumbai and its mega uh, challenge that it has, the mega volume of, of not only people, but also the uh, litter and yeah, stuff it consumes. See, yes, this is called Bhangar Dukan. Old model ring and recycling, giving a money. Taking with you this and giving you money. Ah, okay. So people, you understand? yeah. So people bring yeah. the litter. People bring the plastic. Yes. And they get some some, some money in return, and they uh, recycle. Richard, it. Exchanging your taking our money. I see. Yes. I see. You can you can kala murga kala kala. This is chicken. Yes. I've never seen this. Yes. That's this crazy. Cost this one leg. Oh, okay. Oh, we lost our mobile phone. Come here. We gotta go in here. All right. I'm. Uh, ooh, it's dusty. Once again, being shown my best. <laughs> Namaskar. Hello, boys. They're clearly working hard to dismantle the types of things that we throw away in the West, whether it be children's games, children's toys, usually made of brightly coloured plastic, as you can see there. Stripping them down to the different components. Types of plastic. You've got things like keyboards. I can see over there. That being stripped down, they were probably used for gaming at some point in some house in America or wherever it may be. And things like the uh, light covers of the uh, of vehicles. Yeah. Things like Dre Beats that we in the West, once they're broken, we just throw away. So they're being stripped down. Namaskar. Okay. Nice to meet you. Kissy Ho. Acha. Acha. Both Acha. You're working hard. It was interesting to see you get the circuit boards and things out. Interesting. So nothing goes to waste. That's the whole point. And I can see the other guy over there was uh, just simply breaking down a coat hanger. Uh, so it's, it's literally anything and everything. And this is a reminder looking around, uh, particularly in the West. This is where the stuff that we throw away ultimately ends up and these guys are sat here with hammers breaking it down so think twice before buying that stuff that you don't need and certainly think thrice before just disposing it disposing of it try and uh you know try and recycle it get so these i mean down there there's even basically yogurt and stuff and uh half soccer balls plastic footballs or volleyballs whatever they are and yeah this is where it ends up, guys. Consumerism. So yeah, for me to see that, that was uh, obviously, yeah, quite, quite jarring or quite surprising. Even though these guys say that uh, it's completely normal and in fact a relatively easy work, apparently, for, uh, for those guys compared to the other jobs around here or the way of life generally. So they're earning a little bit of money. 
they're all quite capable of communicating with me and it makes you think or wonder what else they could do uh, potentially whether surely there's uh, other jobs or occupations that they could otherwise be doing but you know there they are splashing up the, the stuff that we throw away in the west uh, sat on the floor in in, in Darabi slums the S word I'm sorry aha okay so another workshop so yeah as I say you've got everything from salvage, recycling, to industry, whether it be processes to create and cut glass, or whether it's textiles, it's all there. Recycling area. It's all over recycling area. Yeah. So he's saying that uh, basically this is where a lot of the recycling goes down. Yeah. For all of Mumbai. Uh, recycling area, very, very big area this is. Yeah, so the, this is very important uh, area for recycling Asia, Mumbai. In all Asia, very in big. all of Asia. Uh, wow. Asia. Okay, let's just wash out behind this. So wow, maybe it's even more significant or more prominent. Not only is it uh, responsible for Mumbai's recycling, but perhaps on a much bigger scale that of the countries and uh, and even the continents. Mashallah, we are definitely definitely amongst um, Muslim population. Okay. Carbonate. Carbonates, okay. Yes. So it's like a... Uh, oh. It's, uh, yeah. It is clearly like a vehicle salvage place where they can, or yard, I suppose you would say, if it had a yard. That of a, where, yeah, car parts are collected. Again, probably from, probably from vehicle accidents in the UK and certainly in India. And yeah, they get the uh, the bits and pieces here that are probably supplied to maybe other parts of India, but no doubt the likes of uh, countries in Africa where if cars are stolen or damaged in the UK, very often the parts that are salvaged end up being sent up for repairs in, in poorer countries in the world. But anyway, this is where they're being uh, collected. This is hot. He's swinging a grinding. Oh, it is warm. Uh, it's kola mal. It's kola mal. It's for construction? Plastic, plastic. Plastic, okay. Is that coal or cement? I don't know. Anyways. Okay. Wow, it's noisy in that. Wow, it's cutting metal. Wow. I wouldn't want to be on the end of that saw. I feel like something out of James Bond film. But it was, uh, it was just cutting metal with it. Incredible. Let this guy get past. Let's uh, let's see if I can say goodbye to the boys now. She's making oh, nice. Uh, Salam alaikum, sir. Nice to meet you. Okay. Maybe not. I go to masjids all over the world. Yeah. And they don't even treat me with respect when I say hello to them in their language. Oh well. Just because I'm white. My friend is busy. Oh. He's working. He's working. Eating my people are eating okay. my hopper. Oh wow! Now look at that. Dinner. He's making a sweet, sweet, yeah, sweet, yeah. sweet. So you, you fry these in the crispy. Fry it and make it in sugar. Nice, you can smell the green chilies, they're very fresh. Yeah, okay, so if you are eating street food and occasionally get sick, this, as much as the guys are taking care, I can see that they take a lot of care in the preparation, given the shape of these and how everything is set up nicely. Ultimately, your food is being prepared. Right? So, if you no fault of their own, there's going to be loads of bacteria from the sewers. It's just hit me here, open sewers and things like this. So, that's how, uh, yeah, that's obviously how people can get sick quite easily. Telephone plastic. Telephone plastic. So, this, this is sold or recycled? Recycled, you can see. Recycle. Interesting. Oh, oh but uh, yes. running for a bus, no problem. No problem. This beetle nut is good. Acha? Brother, okay. he is doing his yeah, inside the tank and this is cutting ah, okay. outside coming away from this side. I see, I see. So he grinds up the uh, the plastic from all telephones and things like that into tiny bits. I'm worried though that turning them into tiny bits uh, perhaps more pollutive to the atmosphere and maybe to the water and things but maybe they maybe they're ultimately recycled or resold on as pellets what do i know but we're learning a little bit today come come from there's one more okay and then 
Then, boys, I'm going yeah. to head my own way after this. I appreciate you showing me around. Okay, okay. See, Daddy. Yeah. I guess there's uh, runoff from some of the fabrics and other things, whether it be Two fabric, fabric dye fabric. or detergent, and of course the, uh, the water that they're using to wash them uh, has to filter out somewhere, and it likely goes into that river that we saw uh, at the side of the road, and then we'll we'll flow into the ocean inevitably, and probably onto Chao Pati Beach. You have very good hair, very good hair, and that's it. Med England. All right, guys. Hi, how are you? So, it's been uh, quite a day. <laughs> quite a day here in Dharavi. And indeed, my second day in Mumbai. I feel as though we've seen a very different side of the city in some respects. Clearly, the material side of things. But actually, what's common once again is the kindness and the welcoming nature, the generosity of the people here. Despite the apparent deprivation that you often hear about, there's no denying that people are obviously living with hardship, but nonetheless, it's far from misery. I don't mean to be insensitive in saying that. I mean it in a most constructive sense. We've seen all of the industry, the industry of the people here, hardworking, trying to make ends meet. Whether it's cutting glass, making textiles, washing clothes. Hey, Bajra. Or recycling the junk that we throw away in the West and the people in the penthouses in South Mumbai also dispose of. So this place is incredibly significant. Not only in India, but also on the global map. And it should be absolutely a reminder, another reminder of how you shouldn't have these misconceptions or these preconceived ideas before coming in and seeing a place for yourself and meeting local people. I've had nothing but a good experience here today and it's something that I will never forget. But not for the reasons that we might have thought at first. The guys here are all right. They'll find a way. <laughs>